Kelp has huge potential. The seaweed is one of the fastest growing plants on the planet. It can grow more than a foot every day and unlike land crops, doesn't need fertilizer or fresh water to thrive. It also has huge nutritional value. Some types have five times more potassium than bananas, five times more calcium than whole milk, and 28 times more iron than sirloin steak. That makes kelp an attractive, sustainable alternative in food production. Ballooning populations and our reliance on meat are putting more and more pressure on farmland. Right now, 36% of the crops are used for animal feed, products like corn and soy, which require land and fresh water to grow. Farmed kelp products could drastically reduce our reliance on crops grown on land. It's already being used in food products. But to make the most of kelp, we need more of it. Much more. When enough kelp producers are up and running, the plant could be used to produce better quality feed for aquaculture and animals. Kelp feed has been shown to reduce the need for antibiotics in pigs and improve the protein content in chicken. It also cuts methane gas produced by cattle. As kelp production grows even more, it could also be used as biofuel powering cars and planes. If we used 9% of the world's oceans to farm seaweed, the crop could produce enough biomethane, an area 4.5 times the size of Australia, to replace all our biofuel needs and suck 53 billion tons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere every year. But the kelp industry needs a major kickstart to reach its full potential. A new wave of ocean farmers are already harnessing the power of kelp. Using floating ropes deep underwater, rows and rows of kelp can be farmed alongside shellfish. But it's not a low-risk, inexpensive investment. It takes about $20,000 and or the cost of a boat to get started laying and putting seaweed lines in the water. That investment could yield around $37,000 in profit each year by producing 10 tons of kelp and 150,000 shellfish per acre.